humans, welcome back to another video of mine. So, I sort of just didn't make an update video for this month. Sorry, I know I usually do, but the update for this month was pretty boring to me, and around the time I just completed and uploaded a longer video to the channel, so I was pretty drained from working on that. But a lot of you wanted me to cover the update mainly for the fact Animal Gym added another reskin, so that's what I'll be discussing in this video. With that, let's get right into things. The reskin for this month was the Sunset Siamese Cat, which was a huge letdown for many people. Animal Jam HQ did a sneak peek post on Instagram showcasing a cat's shadow, and many other players had assumed it was going to be a Sphinx cat, or any other new cat for that matter. Since they made a few cats already, it wouldn't be too hard to take an existing model and change it a little to create a new breed of cat. Similar to how the Siberian Husky and the German Shepherd look so alike in their models. But, instead, they brought a reskin of the Siamese Cat, called the Sunset Siamese Cat. And I'm gonna be honest, it kinda looks horrendous. I already didn't like the Siamese Cat's models, since the tail looks weirdly on its body. Although, with that said, it's not the worst animal design out there. And it has other features about it that make it more likable. But I do not like what they did with the reskin for this animal. It looks bad to me. And I'm sorry if anyone actually liked the reskin. I just don't like what they did with it at all. I much prefer the actual Siamese cat. And even then, I don't like the Siamese cat's model that much. And I didn't think it was that popular with players to warrant a reskin. Also, why are we getting a sunset cat in wintertime? We're in January. I know there hasn't been a lot of snow around the world this year, but it's still winter time, and I'm surprised they didn't try to make something snowy or wintry themed instead. Animal Jam has made reskins over the course of its game. In total, I believe there's 12 different reskins that have been added to Animal Jam. Rainbow Raccoon, Autumn Coyote, Pumpkin Spice Latte Flying Fox, Light Side and Dark Side Arctic Wolf, and many others. People have always had mixed opinions on reskins. Some people hate them, thinking that they are lazy, others like them and understand their addition to the game. Although, currently we have had three reskins in a row as the new Animal Jam animal for the last few months. Four, if you count the Light Side and Dark Side Arctic Wolves. But I don't, as Phantoms came out with them. So, this is mainly why people are disappointed. Not the fact it's a reskin, but the fact that we've been getting reskins so consistently. And also the fact people got their hopes up thinking it would be a new cat instead of a reskin. Not to mention, this reskin doesn't look very great, so I understand the complaints and overall disappointment with this update. I will say, Animal Jam did make a new animal last month, being the unicorn. Technically, it wasn't a new animal in the Sapphire shop, but it was a new animal they added in Chrysalis. A pet that could become a playable animal by leveling it up enough. So. You could argue they did add a new pet last month, as well as a reskin. And we don't know for sure what this month has in store for us. Perhaps they plan on adding another animal to Chrysalis. That's something we just have to wait on. A lot of people think dragons will be the next fantasy animal to come to Animal Gem, and it would be super cool to see them as a playable animal. Unsure if it'll be this month or the next, but hopefully we can get another fantasy animal soon. As you know, I'm not a fan of how they'll force you to buy wish tokens in order to get the unicorn, and I have to assume that'll be the case for any other animals they add to the wish fountain feature. As much as that disappoints me, I made a whole video on the unicorn so I won't get into it, I still love unicorns, and I know I'll love dragons too if they also get added. Because a lot of those kinds of animals are super cute and cool, and players will spend money to obtain them, and honestly, it seems maybe this is the direction Animal Jam is going. I could be wrong, as we don't know for sure yet, but they might be making mythical animals for a couple more months, and make reskins that come to the Sapphire Shop alongside those mythical animals. Again, this is just speculation, although it would make sense, as Animal Jam isn't making as much money off their Sapphire animals. It's so easy to obtain Sapphires in-game now because of the My Shops, and because of that, People can get loads of sapphires and not have to spend any money on Animal Gem. But Animal Gem has to make their money somehow, so I think they've turned to other means to obtain more revenue, such as how they made wish coins only attainable with real money, and unicorns only obtainable using the wish coins. 
In my opinion, I think MLJMHQ messed up by adding my shops as a feature. Because they can't just take the feature away now, but it hurts their business due to how easily sapphires can be bought in the my shops now. And people will complain when MLJMHQ brings anything for actual money. And it's understandable why people will complain. I mean, I have complained about them doing that before. A lot. And it's annoying for them to lock features behind a paywall. But if my shops just didn't exist, I don't think they'd have to make all these bundle deals for real money, have to put all these things behind paywalls. It is an issue. And I believe that's also why reskins have been coming so much. They needed the time to work on the new line chrysalis and the new unicorns, and potentially on new mythical animals. And before I end the video, I guess I should also talk about the other stuff in the update. So the new den is alright. I can tell they used past den assets to create this one, as it looks very similar to a few dens we already have, but it's not a complete reskin or anything. My only thing is that the pine trees in the background do not look good. The 3D render sort of looks off and doesn't match the house and the grass. Personally, to me this den isn't worth it to purchase, since there's already dens that look similar, some that I think look way better. And again, I don't know why they are adding actual wintry themed stuff for January. This den looks like it would have come out in spring or summertime. Like, we didn't even get a Christmas den last month. It was a factory that barely gave off any Christmas vibes. And now we aren't even getting a winter themed den? They could have made this den, but instead just put snow on the ground. Like, I'm not trying to ask for much here. I'm genuinely just confused with the lack of snow this winter on Animal Jam's dens. And then we have the pet snails. They are cute. Honestly, I have to say, one thing Animal Jam HQ always does well is their pets. I never see anything wrong with the pets. Their models usually look great, they're new, and I find I always buy one each month. So I can't complain with the snails, as they are pretty cute pets. Animal Jam did do a good job on those. And that's all for this video. In the end, I don't like the Sunset Siamese cat reskin, but I also don't mind if Animal Jam adds reskins as long as they bring animals in some other form, such as how they are bringing them in the Wish Pond features in Chrysalis. Though, it is annoying they'll be locked behind a paywall. But what do you guys think about this update? Do you think dragons will come later on this month, or in the next one? Let me know in the comment section. It's been Liam Puppy, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys all next time.